A nurse practitioner candidate in palliative care in Victoria is a Division I registered nurse who's working towards becoming endorsed as a nurse practitioner and is in a nurse practitioner candidacy position that has been developed by the health service. The candidate works towards fulfilling the competencies for the nurse practitioner as set by APRA and they are assisted in this uh, by mentors who um, help them to fulfil these requirements. The role is supported by the Victorian Department of Health who provides scholarships for the candidacy. To become a nurse practitioner candidate in palliative care, you firstly need to be advanced, um, have advanced nursing skills in the palliative care area um, and you uh, also need to successfully apply for a candidacy position. Um, in my case I did not have a Masters of Nurse Practitioner but I completed my Masters while in the candidacy position. The health service should prepare for having a nurse practitioner candidate by identifying gaps in service provision that could be filled by a nurse practitioner and scoping the, the nurse practitioner position by developing a model of care for the position, identifying a steering committee that can assist the nurse practitioner candidate to work towards endorsement and by also identifying both nursing and interdisciplinary mentors that could assist the candidate to develop the appropriate clinical, advanced clinical nursing skills. The health service should also prepare all the health professionals in the service to um, know about the role, in other words, to market that role. My career in palliative care nursing started when I was working for the Royal District Nursing Service visiting patients at home and I became a palliative care resource nurse for palliative care patients seen by RDNS. I then moved to Melbourne City Mission Community Palliative Care where I worked for three years um, so again visiting patients in their homes and uh, providing palliative care support. I, I then moved to the palliative care unit at uh, Broadmeadows Health Service um, and worked there for seven years. I became a, a clinical nurse specialist on the ward. Um, in 2008, I moved to the inpatient consult service at the Northern Hospital and worked as a, a, a clinical nurse consultant and a team leader and that's until 2010 when I was interviewed and accepted as a nurse practitioner candidate in palliative care. Postgraduate study that I've undertaken has been a graduate diploma in community nursing and this year I completed a nurse practitioner masters which was an approved uh, nurse practitioner course and uh, which is pathway one uh, according to the APRA criteria. Pathway two is for masters that are uh, not um, an approved um, nurse practitioner masters and uh, require uh, that the extra subjects are undertaken which are usually pharmacology and uh, clinical assessment. As an experienced nurse, I wanted to continue uh, working in a, in a clinical uh, field, working directly with patients and families uh, rather than behind the scenes in management positions and identified that, that there's a need for uh, nurse practitioners in palliative care, is, um, an area that there is a need for uh, advanced clinicians. Um, I wanted to be able to work collaboratively with other health professionals but also to be autonomous in my practice. Model of care for each nurse practitioner is different depending on their specialty area and their health service. 
my model of care in as a, a palliative care nurse practitioner candidate is still evolving. There's an, a need for palliative care cl clinicians within our organisation. We have input from consultants but no registrar or resident who work in the acute hospital. The nurse practitioner model needs to uh, take into consideration the, the palliative care needs of the organisation and how this aligns with the strategic plan. The, at the moment there is a focus on patients who present to the emergency department. We've identified that this is an area where a clinical leader in palliative care could assess patients who in the emergency department are suitable for direct transfer to the inpatient unit patients who would like to return home with a palliative care management plan in place and patients who require admission ensuring that they have appropriate medications written up. This is uh, a, an area that the nurse practitioner could focus on as part of the model. Another area of focus is outpatients who are attending oncology or day oncology or patients who are attending chronic diseases or uh, renal outpatients clinics. A typical week in the life of a nurse practitioner candidate involves doing ward rounds with the palliative care consultant and also reviewing patients independently in either the acute units, the outpatients clinics or in day oncology. The reviews involve making suggestions regarding symptom management, decision making regarding palliative care, referral to inpatient commu and community services, participating in family meetings to discuss future plans. There is discussion in the ward rounds about uh, the advanced assessment of and management of patients and uh, developing an understanding of, of what the nurse practitioner would do in these situations. Uh, there's also following up patients who have been discharged home, including providing symptom management plans, uh, especially for patients that uh, there may, may be some time before they're followed up by community palliative care. Uh, there's also participating in the weekly multidisciplinary meeting, um, seeing patients with uh, my mentor in order to develop my advanced clinical skills, uh, attending grand round, and meeting with uh, my nurse mentor to uh, discuss how to progress the candidacy position and develop the model of care, um, meeting with other nurse practitioner candidates within the organisation uh, to present cases to each other to and to discuss pre preparation of the portfolio uh, that is required by APRA um, as uh, part of the endorsement process. I think the main challenges to the palliative care nurse practitioner candidate role is that it is a still a relatively new position. Um, in my health service, for example, this is the first nurse practitioner candidate position. So there's, there is not necessarily a path to follow and you have to make your own path. Um, learning as you go and also um, helping other people within the organisation to have a better understanding of the nurse practitioner role. Um, I liken the nurse uh, practitioner position, uh, candidacy position to being an Olympic athlete. You need self-belief and a certain amount of self-promotion to convince others that you can su successfully fill some of the identified gaps within the organisation. Selling yourself and marketing yourself to your health service and to the, the wider community does, does not necessarily come easy. But we're supported in, in this process uh, by the mentors in your organisation and also by the uh, Palliative Care Nurse Practitioner Collaborative 
um, who are, are very helpful in providing forums where uh, we can network with other nurse practitioner candidates and share some of the difficulties that we might be facing. Um, it, it also, the forums also provide specific uh, education in uh, advanced palliative care skills that are required for the nurse practitioner candidacy um, and also workshops with the Victorian uh, palliative medicine training program on things such as leadership, um, presentation skills and there, it's also helpful in, in developing your advanced nursing skills. What's good about the candidate position is that it is the opportunity to keep working clinically with patients and families in an advanced nursing role um, and also to be able to gain new skills and, and knowledge even um, after so many years of nursing I've uh, in the last three years have gained enormously um, from this process, both through the academic um, attainment of knowledge and also through the, the practical skills that I've, I've learnt. Um, it's also the opportunity to work in an innovative area of nursing and palliative care. I suppose the main thing that I see changing is that, uh, that I'm able to see patients and act autonomously and be able to meet their needs without necessarily needing to go to um, another health professional that may not even have the same level of experience and skill um, as I do and relying on them to, to write up medications for example. Um, we're um, looking forward to being able to uh, do the whole process, I suppose, of seeing patients and developing management plans, seeing that through from beginning to end.